down from the beltway and you can see how high the water is all the way back there. Cars just being tossed around. I don't know if we could zoom all the way in. Look at those guys, they're coming in right now. I think from what I can see, I know you can probably see on the screen better, but they're with some kind of a float, but that water waist deep and you could just imagine where they came from. I don't even know how long they've been waiting in that water. Obviously, we'll try and ask them when they uh, get to a little closer to us. But there are several people who have started walking down Beamer and coming to higher land where we're standing who have said the water just got too high. couldn't wait it out anymore. I didn't know if it was going to keep rising. I was terrified. I just talked to one girl who said that she uh, put her cat in a kennel and just kind of walk the entire way. We're talking like a half mile in water like this. You don't know where you're stepping. You don't know how deep it is. It's pretty scary stuff, um, obviously, which is why Houston police are here right now and they're getting ready to take that boat out and go into some of the neighborhoods uh, behind us. So we're going to try and get with these guys. I know it's going to be a while before that they make their way closer to us, but we're going to ask them really where they came from because I'm hearing Samika and Tom that people are walking as much as a mile in this water, which is incredible. We can't get back there to show you how many neighborhoods are flooded, but that's the thing. It's different than those other floods because it's everywhere, this water. So imagine trying to walk in this dirty water. You don't know where you're stepping. It is chest deep, knee deep, waist deep, whatever it may be, but you're doing it for about a mile. That's just, I, I just can't even imagine. I mean, people are exhausted. They look worried, obviously, leaving pets behind some of them. I've talked to their belongings behind. It is just, I can't even imagine. These guys look to be in pretty good spirits. Uh, I don't know if you can hear out here the wind really picking up. And that rain is still coming down. We just showed you a little bit ago. We're going to spin around here. Oh, see? I hope everyone's okay. She just took a trip. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah, here, I'm going to try and see if we can, we can ask them a couple questions. I mean, we're going to try and go out. Look at this. Be careful, Lynn. There's a floating sign right here. I don't even know where that came from. Okay. I, I mean, we're not going out too deep. Obviously, I don't want to. We've got, enough, we've got Fox here as well. We're going to try and, yeah, I mean, this is terrifying stuff. We've got Fox here as well, so I'm going to see if we can all jump in. He's holding his shoe, actually, right now. Okay, can you give us the location of that house again? Uh, 10903 Sage Hearth. And can you just repeat, you said somebody in there needs medical attention yeah, right now? Little, little her name's Ashley. She's got two kids and her family's there. They're on insulin pumps. The babies are. They're the, 9 and 11. 9 11 years old. The two children are in that house right now. 9 and 11. How far did you all walk to get over here for help? I mean, originally we came to uh, get some bulldogs. But, but we got uh, turned around. Got, got, got turned around and uh, we saw this lady and she told us her situation and we tried our best to flag down some help, but... We've come. These, jer these jerks wouldn't stop. Since four o'clock in the morning. So you've been walking literally from Scarsdale at 45. Yeah, no all boats the way or no cars here. tried stopping or nothing. Right. No, nobody stopped and we yelled for them. Yeah, well, we've got HPD and boats right over here. So they're on their way. And can you, as long as they can get to that lady. Can you just tell us how far away is she? Like, we can just see how high the water is. How far away is that? She's all the way down there. She's on Sage Hearth. I'd say it's like eight streets down. Um, if you're coming from Hughes, it's it's five yellow street lamps. <laughs> and how have you talked to her? Like, how is she doing right now? I mean, I, I, she's is she terrified? Um, she seems pretty calm, actually. She's got what I think is her husband and her parents in there. Um, the babies are asleep. They went to sleep around three. And the water but is in their house. It's not all the way in their house. It's up to the doorstep. It's getting there. And on oh your walk God. here, okay. what are some of the How are you? Do, you tripped. I mean, are you okay? Of, I'm good. I've got bad hips. The, you know, <laughs> the water's like not doing good for them. But <laughs> that's a little scary. I mean, you've been walking for a long time. A yes, we walked all the way from over there, down here for our friends. Now we're walking you guys all the way back. Stay safe, and I Thank hope you guys for get talking with her. us. Yeah, yes. we're gonna. I, I mean, say one more time. Guys, where is she like, living? If anyone can help, I, I'm just. It's ten nine zero three Sage Hearth. It's on. It's down by Hughes. But they're on insulin pumps, and they had that much left when we left. Where are you guys going right now? We're going to Kirkway. Hey, there's a hole. Okay. 
We're going to Kirkway. You're going to Kirkway. Okay. Behind BHI. Okay. So there, tell them about the the rescue because they're going to need to know that address. They're the ones who can help you. I mean, guys, the situation out here is really fluid. I, I'm sorry if that was a little messy, but your viewer, our viewers are seeing this is how it is. I mean, people are coming out of their homes and they're looking for help, and police are obviously going in to do that. Um, so. You know, hopefully that family and those two little kids can get some help. But I just want you to, you know, leave you with this image out here. It's incredible. Just unbelievable how much water is out here in southeast Houston. We'll send it back to you guys. Okay, live pick again. Thank you guys for talking with us. No problem. I'm hopefully we can get that woman some help, right? Yeah, you too. Her name's Allison. She's real sweet. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah okay. Something. <laughs> yeah, with an a. Got it. Not fun. <laughs>